Now I'd like to show how to create a model on your radio. We'll start out with the pull down menu, go to the model selection menu, and down at the bottom left we see a plus icon. We'll tap this to add a new model. Here you will enter the model name you wish to use. I need to call this one Demo X, then tap OK. This will enter the model setup assistant. We start out with three icons to choose from. They do all use the same setup assistant. You can also choose Delta Wing or V-Tail at this time. I'm going to set up a standard type model. Tap Proceed. And here we go into the different control surfaces. If you tap on Wing, you'll see we have right aileron and left aileron, left flap and right flap. From here, you can add up to 10 servos for each channel. We'll just add one servo for this aileron and go ahead and add another one for the other side. And then you tap the control icon and move whichever gimbal you wish to use. Since this is aileron, I'm choosing the aileron stick. Tap OK and you'll see the control pop up in that box. We'll only choose one flap servo. Tap OK and again select your control from here. You can see it highlighted on the screen. Next we go into the tail. And again, you've got a left and a right of each. We'll just add a single elevator and a single rudder. These do have several boxes, but you do not have to fill them all. Add an elevator control and a rudder control. And from here, you just proceed on through the list. This does have the ability to add two throttle channels directly independent. That way you can set up twin engine models easily. It also has the smoke and ignition option. Go ahead and tap proceed. This will create the model. It starts out by creating the functions and then adding the servos. This also dictates your channel mapping. Here it dumps you right into the functions menu. So you can see we've already got controls set up and the trim set up. There are a lot of options for trim setup, which we'll go into in another video. The setup, this is where you'll go in for your dual rates and expo. Again, we'll cover this in a future video. And then fail safe. For fail safe, you have two options. There's hold and fail safe. Hold will hold the last position that the receiver saw you input to that control. Fail safe will go to the preset fail safe position. If you tap fail safe, it will give you the teach option. So from that, you would just hold that stick in the position you wish and hit teach, and then it has learned the fail safe position. In the servo menu, this is where you'll go in to set up your endpoints and total travel. Currently, you can see it only has 50% travel. This is the default to help avoid overdriving servos from the start. If you tap this, you can go ahead and add it to get your total travel. So now, whenever I move the stick, you see I have full 100%. In this menu, you can also rename the servos as you wish. For instance, just to take the one off so you have a right aileron and a left aileron. And then if you go out to the main menu here, you can actually rename the functions as well if you wish. Adding a function is as easy as just hitting the plus icon and a new function will pop up where you can then independently add the control. I'll go ahead and create a new throttle channel since I didn't do that. You can add your trim and then go into the setup just like you would with the others. You do notice there's not a servo assigned yet. So we'll go down here and just assign a servo. We go back and we can rename this one throttle. And now we have a throttle function. If you would like to see the proper names in your servo monitor, you will have to change the name. You can see servo six is currently our throttle. To change the name, you cannot do that from here to go back out and go into your functions menu. Tap on the servo, the servo name, 
and then we can add this as our throttle servo. Tap OK. Now we go to the servo monitor. You can see channel 6 is properly labeled as throttle, so it's really easy to see. 